Well, everyone, how are we going? Hello. <laughs> Gary's been buzzing for the last couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wasn't so buzzing. What happened to Discovery 5, Gary? Oh, just... I only need a service. What happened? <laughs> Door lock failed over. Oh, a Land Rover having an electrical fault. <laughs> <laughs> having said that, Gary left her up, so Frankie who we've all met before, Jameson, who we work with on the Land Rover side, you left her up to get sorted yeah. and a service, yeah. to be fair. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. stopping us from using yeah, her, it was yeah, just yeah. timed. And arrived home with this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Simple terms, yeah or nay. Big yay. Yeah. Seriously? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, there is the much loved Defender. Uh -huh. The 90, sitting there. We've borrowed crazies, Mr. Old Nases. <laughs> and everything we've put in social media, let's be honest, let's be oh. really brutally honest, yeah. everything we've put in social media with this, the swing is going old, oh, old, right. old, old. So you've got three or four minutes, change your minds. <laughs> By the way, I'm personally with the new one because I fit in it. Uh, well, I can drive the old one, but it's... <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, these are very much now a cult following. Yeah. And, like, times has moved on. Really, that's just the way I see it simply. Like, and this is the, probably the only commercial vehicle you get now with a three-litre engine. You know, like, it's... There's a styled... There has resemblances. They've kept the heritage there. Yeah. Like this, this is the ninety hardtop, as they talk about, and like this is the the way the old farmers' defender used to be. You've just said old farmers' defender. That's not going to go down well. As people are going to say, there's only one old farmers' defender. Right, well, look, um, I, I, like to me, it's like. <laughs> There's, there's been something very similar in the agri world has happened recently as the new Massey. And it, it's very similar to me, everybody, like, it's, they're lying towards the old one, but, you know, you have to see change coming I don't coming think too. so, not now. It's been not out. now, when the it's out, S but do you remember when it was launched? Yep, and the S-series Scania was the same. Exactly, yeah, yeah. It's a very smooth engine. The engine's beautiful. They've it's, stepped away from the V. They're now straight six across the board and the and the Defender Discovery Five Range Rover. Um that's a three litre straight six, but it's twin turbo. And the Defender it's running at two hundred horsepower. But that's is two hundred. Two hundred horsepower, eight speed automatic box, same as in our Discovery. Mm -hmm. That's all you get. No other. That's the way it is. Um, but that engine has capability to go up with 350 horsepower. Now we're talking. And the. Now we're talking. And the big Vogue, that's running at 350. So. So our V is going to be a thing of the past. That's do you gone. think within the Land Rover Range Rover gone. range? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've also went back to the def on the Defender. They've went away from the electric dip stick. This is a manual pull out oil stick, which is class because that electric thing is just a pain, to be well, honest. Like, um, but Land Rover claim this is their most capable off roader they've ever made. Yeah, yeah. Thoughts? Uh, look, for all we've had nothing here really to test her as such. You know, she's. We've took her off road with trailers and everything, and it just is like whatever, you know. It just, but apparently now they had to redesign the test track for this vehicle. Like that's how that's how good it is. Like the four wheel drive system on it, as 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 good as you get, you know. Like that's the traction control, and you know it's it's serious back engineer they, like like. We took, them, we took the two of them to the Weybridge and 
you have to remember old ones here has, has got the extra weight of his winch and all on yeah um she's empty every other way um big difference big difference half a ton so the new one's yeah. half a ton heavier she is yeah yeah and that's a fairly strapped out model you would call that one really like you know she's not she's not a car type well, one of the comments received guy I'm just taking a down right, towards a look, it. yeah one of the comments up on facebook was drives lovely looks okay but can't imagine you pushing norris the bull out through the gap with it <laughs> <laughs> well you could but it might cost you a bit yeah. more to fix her than than this. <laughs> yes, that's, but they're both aluminium. Yeah. You know, like that's that's the way it is, but uh the other one of the other comments was I can't see you uh throwing the the yo and two lambs into the back of her. But why not? Well, exactly. Uh, like, I, would dis I would disagree with that one now. Because open be it up because Right. Okay. Reasonable load area. Now let's go to the Defender. Do you know what old one has lying in here? <laughs> Seats, two benches. I reckon the old and the two lambs would be well, more. The first plus I see about this one is bulkhead to start with. Hey Gary, I washed her. I reckon there's a leak or two. Anyway. Aye. Again, another plus for the new one. She's watertight. Yeah. Now, I don't know, is that not a reasonable wipe down load area, no? I would have thought so. So she's got the towing hooks. Yeah. And a soft close. Yeah. She's the adjustable height tow bar on her. Big mud flaps. That's just kind of all the, the package to keep her, you know, like the, the original it, Defender. Now, I have to say, I don't care who you are <laughs> or what you drive. Yeah. This is 100%, and you can take my word for it, it does drive as nice as anything. Legit. Oh, legit, aye. No. That's as nice a driving vehicle as I've saw him. This comes down, so this is the three That's seat an model. extra, yeah. It comes yeah. down on a, a real good centre console with your charging points and power points. A couple of but decent cup holders. Like somebody made the point the other day about here, I can't remember who it was, but they were going on about, oh, what farmer would want to use this? Whether oh, I jumped out, well, I, it was Denise, I'm not going to lie, it was Denise, yeah, and yeah. she jumped out and she says, what farmer's going to want to get in that and touch that screen with their dirty hands? And I'm like, well, what track, what modern tractor now doesn't have a touch screen? Exactly. That's look, it's a, Marmite, you're either going yeah, to love look it, at it look, it's, or you're not. But I don't, it has a work vehicle, it has a work feel about it. Uh, it's rugged, it's, you know, I understand that, but equally, if Boris, well, if Boris hit that Boris slap is, now. Is, there's not too much that's going to turn Boris, really, is there? Without a bat. Well, I don't think I'd want to be driving my new tractor at Boris either. Exactly. If, you, if Boris went at your new R Series D, how much would it cost you? <laughs> No, she's not the air set up guy. No, she's in coils, yeah. She has. But she does hold to the road very well. Aye, she's a lovely ride. Um, Towing capacity? Three and a half, aye. So, she's three and a half. so they've kept yeah. her at the three yeah, and a yeah, half? Yeah, three and a half. She's up there at the top. Um, we had the buggy on the trailer behind her there this morning and like that rock thing is an, an ocean of power. Very, very torquey. Well, the big question is, would you buy one? <laughs> For what? For farming. For farming? If you were a farmer. Um, or I a pickup? Pro I probably would, actually, I. What about a discovery That's... versus that? <laughs> I, I think I would, if it was more for the work side of things, I would probably be lying to ass, if I'm honest. What? I liked our old, our Discovery 4. I would have called that more a workhorse than the 5, if I'm honest. Yeah. The 5 has moved anti... Range Rover. It has. 
and he he fell with that five when we go out Falamon and doing things and you're like there's days that you know you're not all comes back dirty yeah aye, and and there's situations where you just have to drive on and like the the old four you felt you, you just know, beat her through it aye and it doesn't annoy you but <laughs> like you feel like you're ruining that five yeah well but this here he has a point on that that's how we feel about it I think this is the this is the new Tesco <laughs> if you know for not, the agri side aye uh, yeah I think they've stepped you know a lot of farmers did have discovery fours yeah well, a lot of guys moved from the, the Land Rover to that, didn't they? They did, aye. But um, it's I an expensive what, bit of kit. As, but, what, as, but, as. but, you know, spec up a pickup. Exactly. Spec up a top-of-the-range pickup. 200 horse is always your top sort of model. Automatic. Have all the kit on it. Put your canopy on or whatever you want to put on exactly. the bike, whatever you're for yeah, doing. Yeah. Here, you're in there a lot of money there too. But, like, and driving-wise, like that thing's... I don't care what pack up it has. That's that's where I had it. I know, girl, but like steady now. Well, the, the Robert McConaughey come and clash your lugs to you. <laughs> well, well, to me the best road driving pack up <laughs> is the Amarok. But as I, I know There's the no Amarok's doubt. weakness is off road. To me, you've now got both. Uh, You've got the refinement for driving on the road and you legitimately have the off-road capability and I'm sorry guys if you think that the new Defender, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't even do it. There's no point creating a video because we don't want to end up falling out with the hardcore fans. No, look, to me they're two very different vehicles now. So they are, I like guess, yeah. it isn't a direct replacement. No. And like... These type of vehicles aren't getting the same abuse on farms that these did, purely because now you have things called John Deere Gators, can quads, like nearly every farm is one of them, and they're the thing that's doing the donkey work now. Yeah. So they are. And guys are looking a more all-round vehicle rather than something that can go up a mountain to feed sheep or but this will still do that but like it's yeah again you could you could set off and do 200 miles on it and get out of it as fresh as paint look for me it's a yes i'd love to see the uh, 110 yeah. i would hand in my heart potentially say a 110 could find a home here against the discovery uh, that's a uh, it's a potential candidate because I, yeah, yeah. The Definitely. discovery is too Range Rover even for me. Um, I almost it's a prefer serious, it. Don't get me wrong, the Five's a serious vehicle, um, but they've just got nearly they've one of they've crossed the line into the discover or the Range Rover yeah. bracket. So they have. But it shows you what they're doing. Yeah. Right, hey guys. Thank you very much um, for tuning in. Gary's going ahead and get the Discovery bike now because you have got the calls. You sort it. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to leave this back before. And, uh, before you fall in love with her too much. <laughs> Gary, Gary, Gary comes home with a bell. No. Where are no, we going? No. no. <laughs> right, guys, see you later.